Okay, yes, I'm the uh, the unit coordinator for, for this unit. And in, in this unit, uh, you will examine um, how various uh, human activities have had a consequence to our planet and particularly to the uh, the biological component uh, on our planet. So how uh, various um, activities uh, caused by uh, human processes have um, potentially challenged and damaged our natural ecosystems. And we look at um, four main themes. We look at the consequences of intensive agriculture, the consequences of uh, resource extraction, so particularly from mining and particularly focused on uh, metal pollution. Also, we also touch on um, uh, radionuclide pollution from uh, radioactive waste. Then we look at the, some of the consequences of urbanization, particular focus on um, the impacts to uh, freshwater ecosystems. And then finally, we also uh, touch on some of the challenges of air pollutants, particularly those generated from uh, transportation and the consequences that those air pollutants, such as uh, um, nitrogen oxides and ozone, have on uh, natural ecosystems. Um, a lot of the uh, content in the unit uh, lets you understand some of the processes by which these uh, challenges take place, um, particularly focused on understanding some of the reasons why these various challenges may lead to a, a change in ecosystem structure, loss of uh, biodiversity, but also the um, the consequences that has to our own human society, such as the, the ability then to be able to um, produce food. So implications to food security and to water security. But we're also looking at uh, solutions. So we look to understand what are some of the, the potential solutions that we have in place to address some of these issues in a more sustainable manner. So through the uh, course, we make use of uh, specific examples and case studies to illustrate some of these challenges. And uh, you'll have opportunities to look at some data that's been um, uh, generated through some specific examples. And we go through some data analysis and there are group activities by which you will um, collectively perform data analysis and then present your, your findings to the class uh, and your recommendations based on your analysis of that data. We also have workshops where you will um, understand some specific components of a course in more detail, both through the, uh, the study of uh, research papers from the, from the journal literature, and also by looking at um, specific problems, which also will allow you to uh, uh, get practice and training through um, uh, being able to successfully tackle the assessment in the exam for this unit. And uh, just some photos here. So some of some of these these key challenges that we're going to look at. So clearly, we're aware that our human activities through very large scale monoculture agriculture, through to uh, extracting resources in, in in through mine sites and industrial activity, is causing substantial pollution uh, to our planet. But one way we're going to look at this is then what are the, the sort of sustainable uh, approaches that we can consider to um, to mitigate some of these these issues, as well as, of course, continuing with the, the economic and industrial need of a planet. So can we move towards more sustainable production and, and consumption processes? I mean, finally, all of this is considered with the, the backdrop of, of climate change. Which is obviously uh, affect, affecting some of uh, many consequences to our to our planet, and that's kind of an overarching theme that is also uh, considered in the in the background. So um, I'll, I'll end it there and move on to uh, uh, the next units.